Hello, you lovely people. Hello, Josh. Hello. What are we here for, Josh, do you think? Uh, NES Mini and SNES Mini Classic console things. Yep. How to add more games yeah. to both. Uh, we're looking at both because, as Josh has reminded me, uh, it's practically the same thing, isn't it, to do them? Yeah, basically the same thing. Yeah, so obviously they are fantastic machines. As they are, <laughs> yeah, as they are already straight off the shelf, if you like, from the shop, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. This one's getting a little bit hard to get hold of now, of course. This one's a little bit more readily available still. So yeah, they've got some stunning titles on them, as it is. Yeah. But we all know that all of the libraries, to every bloody game system ever made, you pick and choose, don't you? Some people like this game, some people like that game. So it's never going to be 100% for everybody what is on there. There's always going to be some absolute wonderful games to you that are missing off this library. So there's the library for the NES. Uh, SNES. <laughs> SNES. NES. SNES. Whatever, you know what I mean. There's the library that's on it. Yeah. And we you turn it around. There's the library on that one. So yeah, I'm sure there's people already saying, yeah, that's missing, that's missing. Well, we're going to show you how to add those games onto it. Or we're going to talk about it, really, yeah. more than anything. We're going to show you the system setup. I've done videos on this in the past, but obviously we'll hook them up again and show you what's been done to these ones, which games we've added, for instance. Because they've already been done, so we can't actually physically show you being, being done. But... Josh is going to talk about how he did it, how he achieved it, how easy it is to do it. And, yep. you know, he's going to guide you through the process. So, yeah. Do you want to add those games that are sorely missed to you, to your NES and SNES Mini? Well, this is the video to watch, guys, because he's going to show you exactly what to do. Or explain kind mm. of how to. Yeah. He's going to explain to you exactly what to do. I know I'm so used to us physically showing people doing this thing. Yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, I say unfortunately, it's good for us that ours have been done. But yeah, unfortunately, we can't actually physically show you it's been done. But we can certainly guide you through the process. Well, you can, can't you? Kind of. Mm, kind of, yeah. yeah. So yes, guys, would you like to join us? As a, First of all, we're going to you know, take it all out of the boxes. And then we're going to show you what's actually in here. Uh, just in case you don't know, if you're one of the few people left on the face of this planet that doesn't know what comes in these boxes so we'll show you that i wonder yeah i wonder uh yeah what i think comes in this box? yeah what, what comes in this box it's, it's an atari 2600 isn't it and i think that one is an atari lynx mm. no maybe not maybe, maybe it's a nes mini and a snes mini yeah yeah maybe so we'll show you what's in there and then we're going to hook them up to the tv and then we're going to show you what we've done to them and josh will try his very hardest to explain how he got to that point and how to put them on, guys. I know there's many videos like this on YouTube already, but we thought we'd have our little ten penneth worth of it, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so this is another tech video, guys. So we'll see you upstairs in just a sec, guys. Yeah. See you then. Right, so here we go, guys. Obviously, um, this is what you get in the boxes. Basically. Yeah, basically what you get in the boxes, yeah. Um, obviously, we're not showing you the brown in inner trays and the bags, and that would just be ridiculous, wouldn't it? This is not an unboxing video, it's just showing you what we're talking about. Obviously, a very tiny, oh, wrong way around, very tiny NES, very tiny. Well, it's not actually tiny, it's the right size controller. Yeah. What am I talking about, Div? And a very tiny SNES. And with this one, you get two controllers. Yeah, you get two controllers with this one. Obviously, we only got the one out. So that's what we're talking about, guys, here. It's the SNES and the NES Mini. And how to add more games to these little beauties. As I said, they're already fantastic from stock. 
but you can make them that much better guys by putting every game on that you ever wanted you know that you fondly remember from your childhood say that weren't included from stock so yeah there you go guys obviously it's just the boxes the manuals the machines themselves and the control pad there but that's what we're talking about so yes josh this is where your uh, magic if you like is going to begin isn't it yeah it's where you're going to try your very hardest to lead people down the right path or should i say the wrong path in some cases some people's opinions but what's the matter with that hey eh? what's wrong with putting on the games you really want they should have put them on shouldn't they yeah well, mind you they would have to have a bloody huge hard drive in it wouldn't they to uh, mm. actually accommodate everybody's wishes yeah they would have had to put the whole library on probably but yeah uh, obviously the one we got here in the uk is the uh, european japanese style so um yeah obviously north america it looked completely different and in japan that looked completely different yeah. so yeah they're the models that we've got so right guys we're going to move over now to the tv and josh will lead you through uh, what he's done to ours and how he managed to achieve that so you ready for this josh yeah yeah here we go then guys see you in a second Right here you go, you lovely people. We're starting with the NES Mini, mm -hmm. obviously because it was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hand it over to Josh, and he's going to show you what's what. Yep. There you go, guys. You can already see a different little icon there, mm -hmm. which is what's used to hack it, isn't it? Yeah, hack G. Yeah. Uh, but um, as you can see from the bottom, there's lots of new games, and if I scroll over a bit. There are plenty that weren't originally on the mini. As you can see there, look, it's Little Samson and yeah. Flintstones at uh, Dinosaur Peak. Uh, two absolutely <laughs> so expensive you wouldn't believe games. We could never afford to have the real thing, that's for sure. Yeah, I and mean, then if I carry on going over a bit, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Now, uh, I put the, the Game Boy Advance games on the NES Mini and not the SNES Mini, even though the SNES Mini has shoulder buttons, which the Game Boy Advance had. Which would have made more sense, I suppose. Yes. But, yeah, at least but, I didn't play. Um, that's just what I did a couple years ago, like one or two years ago, whenever I did it. Yeah. And I don't know why. But they play alright, so yeah. no harm and no foul. Like I got Sonic Advance 1 and 2 on. Yeah. Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Ruby, which I don't think they use the shoulder buttons too heavily, but not many games that aren't NES games are oh, Super Mario Land 1 and 2. The normal Game Boy games were alright, because yeah. they had enough shoulder they, buttons. They, they play fine, yeah. No, but no some of the buttons. GBA games that require the shoulder yeah. buttons. Yeah, a yeah. lot, lot of games there from different consoles as well, guys. Yeah. Mainly want. NES games, but yeah. only a few Game Boy and Game Boy Advance yeah. ones. But as you can see, we have a hell of a lot more titles than what you get on stock. Yeah. So Josh, how did you achieve it? Well, I'll go into a game just while I talk about it. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario Bros. is obviously on the console. But um, how I did it was, there is a tool for PC, I know it works on Windows, haven't tried it on Mac or Linux, called hackchi 2 ce C stands for Community Edition, and what it does is it allows you to plug your NES or SNES Mini into your computer, and uh, it puts it into a special mode that I forgot the name of, yeah, when you like hold reset and power at the same time or something. The DFU? Uh, no, it's like FTL or something. Ah, right. Um, and once it's in that mode, you can like flash stuff to the kernel or something it's like a special recovery mode um and yeah you can create like you can upload roms and stuff to it through that mode i suppose and it installs like the custom kernel so then the nes mini can actually recognize the roms and that yeah you can install retro arch and stuff on it too wow uh yeah that's basically how you do it for the nes and SNES mini you just plug it into your PC and then run Hatchy 2 ce and it has like a guide built in if I remember correctly. So it basically gets the uh, 
the mini system recognized as a uh, storage media, wouldn't it? Sort of, not yeah. like um, in Windows, but it does get yeah, recognized, yeah. Yeah. So then you can. Why is down not working? Mm. That was, but it gets it recognized in Hatchy, so you can add your stuff to it. Yeah. And that is the exact same tool you would use for both systems then? I do believe. Yeah. Here we go. Five minute speed run. <laughs> So then of course you can uh, yeah add any games you want as well. Obviously we'll have certain links in the description again I presume, are we Josh? Probably. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll try and have the links in the description for you so you can get that tool. And it is as simple as just plugging it in then, isn't it? And, yeah, uh, basically. Yeah. And it tells you how to do the rest. Yeah, there's so the self guide. So really this is quite a simple little um, <laughs> how to do it video because um, it's very, very simple to do. Yeah. If you look in the legal notices, yeah, look, this modded system is not for resale. <laughs> this console is modded using the free Hack G2 CE software. If you bought a really modded system, you are scammed. Yep. It has all the normal copyright stuff. 2016, cool. It's been <laughs> a while. Uh, now, I suppose I'll do a Game Boy game. Yeah, yeah, play a Game Boy game and a Game Boy Advance game. And, uh, I'll do Super Mario Land Show the work, and then obviously we'll plug the SNES in and show you uh, as well. Has that custom splash screen if you saw just then? I love the music in this game. Yeah, so brilliant. Iconic, isn't it? Oh, I remember playing this on my, on my Game Boy. <coughs> it was just awesome. At the time, I mean, wow. You know, to play Mario on a portable was incredible. Um, but yeah, it's just a Game Boy game running on the NES Mini, I guess. Not much else yeah. to really yeah. say. I'm really say about it, yeah. It's just fantastic that you can do it. Is there any other consoles you could emulate on there? Is there any other, like, say, Sega consoles or anything? Uh, basically on? anything on RetroArch. On Retro there isn't, like, GameCube, Wii kind of stuff. Yeah, anything that's too powerful. Yeah, because yeah. you can install RetroArch on it. So. Yeah, so all the game, yeah, all the all the systems that retro, RetroArch cover, almost, almost, yeah, should be working on there. So yeah. I believe they might have gotten PlayStation to work. I know you can play Half Life on it wow. if you have that on Steam. You just copy the files over. Oh, that's and sort of thing. You can play Half Life on it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and Quake I think as well. And I know you know. for sure Doom. Yeah, Doom, yeah. yeah. So, you know, the possibilities for you to add more games to this is uh, far, far reaching. Just... And it even has the save states as well. Yeah, yeah, it even put save states there. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, guys, what is your favourite in this game? What would you add to this machine? Game Boy Advance now. Yeah, Game Boy Advance mm, now, yeah. Two. I prefer to. Comment below, guys, what would you add to the NES. What do you think, the NES and SNES, in fact, you know, what would you add to the two minis? Uh, comment below, what do you think was missing sorely from these machines? Yeah. I love this game. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I think playing it with a NES controller. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the amazing thing about putting other consoles on here. I mean, like this now, Josh is sitting here playing one of the most brilliant Game Boy Advance games, and he's using a NES controller, playing it on a NES Mini. I mean, it's just fantastic. Yeah. And look how it's running, guys. It's running flawlessly. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. No screens here. Because I think it's using a uh, um, what's it called? GPSP or VBAM or whatever it's called. Yeah, which are very two. established in your life, so. mm. Yeah, it's using one of the top ones that I've yeah. I mean. You know, as I say, absolutely running flawlessly. No screen tearing, no sound problems, no ghosting. It is fantastic looking. Yeah. Yeah. What more can you say? Wow. So yeah, as well as thinking about what uh, NES games are missing, you might want to think about what Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games you want to put on. Yeah. 
And then take a look at Retro Arch and see what other systems you might want to add to it. Yeah, if you decide to install Retro Arch. Yeah. Very. Uh, lots of possibilities. Yeah, lots of possibilities, yeah. You know, like from Game Gear to Mega Drive, yeah. Master System. Especially if you have the oh. SNES Mini, because then you have the shoulder buttons as well. That's right, and yeah. The X and y. Yeah. yeah, if you're going to do Retro Arch, guys. I would highly recommend you do it on the SNES Mini yeah. for the exact reason that Josh just said. Basically, if you had to pick between one or the other, the SNES, because it has more buttons, so more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this one also has save states. Yeah. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah. Uh, how about I do a game that wasn't on it? Not like I know any of the games that were and weren't on it. Yeah, this is the trouble. Well, go for a little Samson or Dinosaur. Yeah, I'll go for a little Samson because yeah. I quite like that. Oh, it's, it's, it's such a fun game. It's a hard game. Yeah. It gets hard. It really does. But what a doozy of a game. Um, iconic because it came at the end of the Nez's life and sold poorly. Um, and now it's, it's, oh my God, it's so expensive, guys. I mean, common folk like us can only play it for an emulator. Yes, we totally own this ROM, that's why I'm able to play it. Absolutely. Yeah, I've got six copies of this game. I you had fun. seven. Oh, is it seven? No, I forgot about the boxed one. That's yeah. unopened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic little game. Yeah, it really, really fun. is. Yeah. And it didn't have to push the NES's uh, capabilities, I mean, it really did. And it works beautifully. Just yeah. so bloody hard. <laughs> Reminds me of like Mega Man. Kind yeah, of. it does, yeah. It's the very similar. The difficulty kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's Mega Man. I mean, depends on which one you're playing, but some can get really, really bloody hard. Yeah. Yeah. Quite, I do quite like this game. Yeah, it's a fun game. The music's pretty good as well. Yep, very catchy, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I can't do this. You certainly got a very deep pocket to afford the original, that's for sure. I mean, it literally fetches oh, anything up to £2,000, depending on the condition, the box. Um, yeah. It's only for the rich. Mm-hmm. And the lucky. It's, it's running fine on the NES Mini. Yep, absolutely blinding, isn't it? Yep. So there you go, guys. So that's looking at the NES Mini. Now, of course, we've shown you, we've told you how, sorry, to do it. Not shown you, we haven't shown you at all how to do it, but we've, uh, Josh has certainly spoken about how to do it. He's going to tell you the exact same thing again, but with the SNES, just so we're not, um, you know, you might be skipping forward. You're not interested in the NES Mini. Uh, you might only want to know about the SNES Mini and how to do that once you skip forward. I know you little buggers do it sometimes, so yeah, he'll tell you the same old jargon yeah. um, and we'll show you what we've got on our SNES Mini. Right, we'll be back in a sec, guys. Right, guys, me and Josh put our hands up, we're planks. If you already own or want to get a hold of one of the controllers, from the SNES Mini. <laughs> you can use it on the NES. So what I was saying about, you know, if you want to uh, put Game Boy Advance games on, do it on the SNES, forget that. You can put them on the NES quite happily and still use the shoulder buttons yeah. because this controller works on the NES, guys. As you can see, we're still playing the NES Mini. And Josh is now using the uh, SNES Mini. And then control. Y becomes A, I think. Yeah, and then X becomes B. Yeah. So A, Y, B, yeah. X, and then the shoulder buttons just don't yeah. do anything. So if you're only on the NES Mini, it's definitely worth grabbing one of the SNES Mini controllers. You can buy them separately. Yeah. Um, and then you can use the SNES Mini controller on your NES. So, particularly for RetroArch, if you're going to install that, then you can use, obviously, the shoulder buttons with some of the other consoles. I think. Yeah. Since you can use X and Y, I would assume so. Yeah. And also, no it's much more comfortable than the NES one. Yeah. Right. Now we really are going to be back with the SNES Mini. Yeah. Right, back again, guys. Here we are with the uh, SNES Mini. 
And as I said, in case you skipped forward to this section, Josh is going to explain how we did it again. Yeah. And we're going to show you what's on there. Same logo. Yeah, same logo, guys, of the software that's been used to hack it in the first place. Right, over to you, Josh. Yeah, so, uh, time to explain it again. As you can see here, this console is modded using the free hackg 2 ce software. So if you just Google that, and download it, then, um, and then you run it, it should walk you through how to install it to your SNES or NES Mini, which basically, I'll, I'll explain it quickly. You just plug it into your computer, uh, open up hackg 2 ce and it will tell you the steps, like you have to put it into like a special mode, that's called like FTR mode or something where you hold reset and turn it on and some stupid stuff. But it tells you how to do everything in hackg 2 ce so you just download that, run it, and it, you should be good to go. Obviously, we'll we'll try our hardest to put the uh, what's needed to do it into the description, guys. Yeah. Um, as you can see at the bottom, many more games. I do believe they're all Super Nintendo, though, so... Yeah, we haven't... Um added any uh, Game Boy or Game Boy Advance <laughs> and earlier on we were telling you how it's the best one to do it with but obviously you can swap the controllers from yeah. the NES Mini to the SNES and from the SNES Mini to the NES you can use the controllers on both consoles so if you own both you can put RetroArch, you can put the uh, Game Boy Advance games quite happily on either console as long as you have that SNES Mini controller with the mm. shoulder buttons now, uh, let's plug in. Was Yoshi's Island 2 on this originally? Uh, I'm not too sure. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, I'll just go into it anyway. Yeah, go into it anyway, yeah. Even if it was on it, oh well. Yeah. At least for showing some gameplay. I'll play the intro a little bit, why not? Yeah, the intro is lovely, this game. Yeah. This is an absolutely fantastic game. Iconic. Such a fantastic art style. I mean, I always loved the art style of this game. Yeah, same. I like this yeah, game. Yeah, a lot of people really, really love it. I mean, obviously, some diehards think it was a bit spoilt by this art, art style, but we love it. Yeah, this was on it originally, but oh, yeah. let's show it quickly anyway. Just to show an original game compared to a proper game. Yeah. That, was, that we added onto it. Oh, wait, no, it's got the intro. I like this intro, it's cute. Yeah. And I like the music. Very cool. Yeah, it's an awesome tune. And I love this game. I love how you play it and stuff. Yeah. So obviously, guys, again, um, what games do you think were missing from the uh, the lineup on the stock uh, SNES Mini? Um, com yeah, comment below. What do you think should have been included on it? Yeah. Everybody has a different opinion, yes. and you know, obviously now it's very, very possible for you to add those games and uh, get full enjoyment out of your. Uh, mini console yeah I can't believe I did that and honestly it's so easy to do as Josh said you know everything's yeah. in the guide already it tells you exactly how to do it and it's a very simple procedure and if you manage to brick it well I'll, I'll be staggered absolutely staggered if you could brick either one of them doing it yeah it's very hard to and yeah. sure like one of the developers is like working on stuff like that. yeah it is so simple. Yeah. How do you throw the eggs again? I forget. Oh, I guess I'm killing it. Oh, there we go. Uh, I thought you had to hold it, but no. You just no. press A and then press it again to launch. I need you. Oh, what a fantastic game. Yeah. Really, really is fantastic. Very long time. Uh, once I get up here, I'll go on to a game that wasn't there, so. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Wishes Island, there you go. Yep, fantastic. 
Yeah. yeah. Super Mario Land 2, which is on. Right, we're just going to check now for one that is definitely not on here. Uh, let's see, Zombies Ate My Neighbors on here. I think like, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, it was not. Oh, it wasn't? It's good. Oh, there we go, guys. I got that wrong and I thought it was on there. Unless I misread the list. Yeah, no, I'm sure you did. Or Nintendo missed it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's using the built in Super Nintendo emulator because it starts the border and that. Yeah. So now you're going to see what it plays like adding one of the games. Yeah. Cool. Never played this game before. Oh, it's fantastic, this game. Really, really fun. Used to be one of my absolute favourites on the uh, SNES. Loved it. Just got to keep shooting them zombies. And obviously rescue the people. The alive people. <laughs> they do come at you from all angles. You see how beautifully this is running. Yeah, I can rescue her. That's it. Yeah, this and, is uh, fine. This is playing good. Yeah, it's playing fantastic. It really is. That, that is awesome. Yeah. Sound is spot on. Again, no, but it sounds alright. Yeah. Again, no lag. I know this game really, really well, and yeah, definitely no lag, nothing. Um, again, no ghosting. Brilliant. Absolutely awesome. And then you can install Retro Arch on this as well. If yeah. For some reason, you're not happy with the Nintendo emulator, which it seems to be pretty good. Yeah. And you can always use Retro Arch, and then you can get all the other console games as well. Yeah. And as we said earlier with the uh, the NES, you know, it, it pretty much plays most of them. And I should think this has got a little bit more power to it than the NES Mini has, and maybe you could get away with uh, even more consoles. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Definitely not like GameCube or anything. Yeah, I and mean, you think obviously the NES Mini is 8 bit, uh, this is 16 bit. Um, and of course, as Josh said earlier, um, he thinks that they managed to get PlayStation working on it. Yeah, at least on the SNES, I think they did. Yeah. And like I said earlier, um, Half Life as well. Yeah, Half Life, yeah, Doom, yeah. of course, yeah. So yeah, the scope is there again, guys, and, and maybe even more of a scope. Yeah, there's probably been a lot more since I last checked up on this stuff. Yeah. And well, yeah, you can have those those games you so fondly remember playing on here quite happily, and it's a very, very simple procedure. Yeah. yeah. And as I say, we will try and link what you need in the description download that and away you bloody go just uh, follow what josh said mm -hmm. all right let's try this one again. yeah uh let's see what games do i quite like donkey kong 3 was donkey kong 3 on here no donkey kong 1 was the only donkey kong that was on here. yeah there you go there's another one guys another absolute classic i haven't played any of the donkey kong games before Except for the 64 one. Yeah. Oh, the 64 one was fantastic. Mm. Well, these, these are brilliant. They really are. Yeah, I've heard they're good. Rare up there. Flipping best. Yeah, my name is totally Dixie. No, you Dixie. Hello. Hello there. Yeah, I'm surprised they only put the first Donkey Kong on here. I'm very surprised, yeah. Not it always makes you, you know, a lot of people have said it makes it makes them wonder if they've got future plans. You know, obviously, we're all still waiting for Nintendo to fully, fully do, uh, you know, stuff onto the Switch, aren't we? We're, we're still waiting for that, oh, for the virtual console, but... I don't think it's ever coming, guys. I, I mean, but this does make you wonder, doesn't it? Why wasn't more Donkey Kongs on here? Is it because they're holding back? Even if it's just to bring, you know, random titles every now and then. Because obviously we've got the online, haven't we? So, you know, they're, they're having to put titles to that. Yeah, that, that, that could be why. They're not going to want to double up on too many games, are they? But this was released in, well, the NES Mini was released in 2016, I forget when you first went Yeah. I mean, they are adding stuff to the online uh, NES and SNES games all the time. Um, 
Yeah, and I've done a. <sighs> it's like I'm still very, very doubtful. Hey, that's fun to come. As much as I hope we're going to get a N64 Mini and a GameCube Mini and what have you. Yeah. Wii Mini, oh my gosh. I'll... Oh, could you imagine that? Yeah. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah. I can't, I, I can't see it happening, not in a hurry. Even the N64 Mini, I think it would have been out by now. You know, mm. they would have had it done and dusted. Maybe they're going to put N64 games on the Switch. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Yeah. I just want them to put Mario Galaxy on the Switch. Yeah. Even well, if it was just without the virtual They're consoles. putting all the Mario games onto the Switch, aren't they? They're, they're, they're going to do that. That's, that's been announced. Well, it, well, it's been confirmed now. Yeah, it's been confirmed. Yeah. Finally. I was all hoping that wasn't fake. Yeah. Like, I was saying, even if it was just a virtual console like Nintendo Switch Online with Mario Galaxy, I wouldn't care, but if yeah. they remastered it and actually had, like, the Switch controls, like, yeah. and stuff made to work with it. It would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Especially something like Mario Galaxy would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Because yeah. Mario Galaxy is so good. The music yeah. and everything. Yeah. Well, getting back to this one, guys, oh, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's played beautifully, isn't it? Yeah, now that I've figured out how to get into the yeah, game. Yeah, it is played fantastically. The sound again is spot on. We've even got the borders there. Um, yeah, can't, can't fault it. It's playing exactly as it should. Oh, oh, I'm this guy. I love it. I love the way that. That big fat turkey there. <laughs> ah, you did. Yeah, that's the sod there. Yeah, what a stunner, eh? Yeah. That is fantastic. Yeah. Do you want to look at one more or anything? or? Uh, I suppose. I'm trying to think what else we can look at here that isn't uh, on the original again. No Earthworm Jim and things, eh? Of course, Earthwind Jim, guys, is coming to the Evercade. I know I keep harping on about this little console, but um, yeah, it's got a bloody fantastic uh, interplay cartridges coming, guys, and it's got Earthwind Jim and Earthwind Jim 2 on them. Oh, awesome. But I'm deviating again here. This wasn't on it originally. Yeah, this is, this is an awesome game. I love the whole thing of the cows. <laughs> Now this really is interplay at their best. Fantastic game. Fantastic franchise. It's a shame it, uh, it's been very, very forgotten. So late. I think we've done what we're doing. Basically, what you're doing, you do. Yeah, you've got to whack that, it falls down. There's a cow that. <laughs> I love it where you can kick him out of the way, or flick him out of the way. Can this just leave me alone? Yeah, you can kill him. It doesn't seem like it's in time to take a bit, do you? There you go. There you go. Oh, again, it's playing fantastic. Sounds perfect. Looks perfect. Yeah, brilliant. Right, there you go, guys. That is the, uh, the SNES Mini. Yep with a ton of extra games guys so yeah you too can achieve that by following this little guide and downloading the uh, the appropriate bits that will be in the description so there we are if you want to achieve this you can do it you can add all those games that you think should have been on here and i'll tell you what they are beautiful little machines even if you just have standing on your shelf they're yeah. beautiful looking things um, we always had the best, you know, here in Europe and Japan, we always had the best looking one anyway, didn't we? Mm. Although we do really desperately want to get hold of the uh, the North American version as well, because it has, you know, got its charms, hasn't it, shall we say. So, there we go, guys. That was a look at how to put extra games onto your NES and SNES Mini. Yeah. Yeah. Very simple to do doesn't take uh, Sherlock Holmes to uh, achieve it. Right, and there we go guys, that's another one done and dusted, another tech video, and uh, yeah.
could get any simpler. So there we go guys, we're going to say off videos then. Cheers! And goodbye guys, and we'll yeah. see you in the next one. See bye. you later, bye!